Hi there guys, James St. Pierre from Unique Results and I promised that I would be filming a short video for the members. This is how to get you from zero press ups up to five press ups. Now I guarantee if you ask anyone if they know how to do a press up, not anyone, a lot of people, they will think that they do. But they'll do press ups with their elbows out here like this, the shoulders rising up towards the ears and it's not gonna be good and it's not gonna be good for the shoulders. So what I'm gonna show you is how to safely and strongly get from zero to five press ups. Now, I guarantee you probably less than 1% of women in this country can do five press ups, less than 1%, I guarantee you, okay? And for men, probably less than 5% can do five good press ups and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Now the universal sign of I don't know what I'm doing is if someone comes up to you and says, hey, can you tell me the way to the library? And you know, you shrug this way. Anytime, we don't ever want our shoulders to be shrugging up towards our ears. We wanna be pulling our shoulders down and back, and we wanna be using our lats and the mus muscles behind our shoulders to keep them down and away from the ears when we're doing press ups, okay? Now the main thing about press ups as well, it's not really just about chest and shoulder and arm strength. It's also about whole body integration and being able to, being able to generate whole body tension that comes from the, the, the quads here, the glutes, squeezing the heels together, pulling the shoulders down, keeping the head up and the neck long, rotating through the hands and keeping the elbows tight and lowering ourselves down and pressing through a full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. Now the way I want you to start that is by doing your press ups on an elevated surface. So your hands are higher than your feet. It could be a work surface in a kitchen, it could be a bench, it could be anything. I'm gonna use the top of this surface here, okay? So, feet together. I take my hands onto the surface. I squeeze my heels together. I squeeze my bum tight. I squeeze my thighs. I also, with my hands, rotate. Create this rotational torque, which then pulls my shoulders down and tightens up my lats and behind here. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you three reps, okay, from here. Everything's tight, everything's squeezed tight. Okay, everything should be tight when you're doing those, okay? Pulling down, controlling. Imagine you're pulling yourself down into the press up, using your lats as well. And then, and then use that force to press back up. Once you can do five of those, move down to a lower surface. Now this is a perfect exercise to use the, what's called the grease the groove programming. You can just come and do one or two or three of those anywhere you want, at work, at home, throughout the day. And you practice only perfect repetitions, okay? The next level down, obviously the further my hands or the nearer my hands get to the floor, the more difficult the exercise is gonna be. I'd much rather you do it like this than put the knees on the floor, because then you're not really generating whole body tension. You're not really helping yourself to create the tension you need to do good press ups, okay? So again, here, my hands are fairly close, remember. I get into this tight position, I squeeze my thighs, I squeeze my bum, I squeeze my heels together. I imagine I've got a sponge in between my knees that I'm squashing the water out of. I create rotational force here. Ready? Shoulders down away from the ears. So the whole way down, tight. Yep, okay. You don't have, that's quite a big drop to go from there to there, okay? So you don't need to go all the way down. Uh, you don't need to drop that much, sorry, okay? Then you come down to the floor. Start with ones or twos, okay? So, same thing, tight, plank position, okay? Shoulders away from ears, armpits engage, lats engage. Ready? Okay. 
Okay. Now, common mistake. People put their hands apart and they try and get their nose in between their hands. I'm sure we've all seen this. This will screw your shoulders up. Okay, that's not the idea. We're trying to get our chest in between our hands. Our head is gonna be further up and extending, okay? So rule of thumb I want you to follow. Don't progress down to a lower level until you can get five perfect repetitions. Then move down and just do one or two at a time until you can get five perfect repetitions. Then move down again onto the floor, okay? Please let me know how you get on with these. Like I say, this is gonna give you so much more benefit than doing these press-ups on your knees. Even just ones or twos, grease the groove done properly is gonna give you loads and loads of benefit. Okay, thanks guys, stay safe, stay strong. I'll catch up with you soon, bye-bye.